gift time up. Pipes. Oh. Second of the game. Got 24. Three run shot. Tied at four. 5 4 now in the fourth. Dion. Right Talk about field. guys getting left off the All Star team. Deion Sanders should be going to the All Star team. He likes to steal bases. He steals bases and he's hitting home runs and he's hitting over 300. All right, in game in five. Bell to third. Eduardo Perez. Bell's got wheels. Can he get it there? Tremendous hustle. Osmus. He singles to right. Bell aggressive. But aggressiveness is the key. He knew where the outfielders were playing and he said, you know what? The ball's down the line. I'm going to third and this turns out to be a key play. For the Strohs. Knight takes Remmer up, puts in Scott Sullivan, Tony Eusebio, you betcha. You. That goes right up the middle off Sullivan, Bell comes home. Key play because it brings the infield in. sabio has got something to hit. Hit it. Derek Jeter. Swing! Oh, he nearly gets decapitated by the Rockets. Jeter goes 0 for 4. Three batters later, Clemens. Tino Martinez. Out! Roger, three, Rocket to the bench. Bottom of the second, first and second, no score. Sean Green. Runners to left, Delgado is on second, not anymore. He scores, Green to second. Safe all around, Toronto up one zip. Yanks try to claw back. In the fourth, Tito Martinez at second, two nothing. Oh, down goes Cecil, who has had horrible numbers against the Rocket. Tito. Quiet up until this time. No. You know, K three times in the game. Clement double digit Ks. Frustrated Yankees starting to get to umpire Al Clark. Uh oh, O'Neill. Gone! No Tory wants to talk. Talk this. Roger Clements gets to 13. First in the majors to do it. Erickson to Bobby Higginson, Jeffrey Hammonds. Got it. No, says Tim Welke. A trap. Look at Athens. Usually when a guy hops up and is that animated all the way right away he knows he had the ball and obviously on the replay we see that jeffrey we see why you got excited we understand animation same inning two outs tigers loaded brian johnson chow time no it eats him up but hammonds that's good no bob hamlin scores the amen scores we're going all over the map with this throw. damien eastley crosses the plate tigers up 5-1 fast forward the tape to the eighth it's 12-8 deep to center field tony to Rasco in place of oh, Hammonds in center. Oh, yeah. That's the best the 400 mark. They're playing Veladas. The ball goes behind the flagpole. Miller scores. Higginson all the way. Inside the park. Homer. Oh, and he had square grooves on the back. Great backspin. Tigers on the day the Tiger wins. The Tigers win. 14 and 9. Erickson, 12 runs. 11 of them earned. And Hey, and he was. He gets the all-star. Blouser looking. Bottom first, one on. The laser. Well, interesting play. You've got Lipke breaking the cover first, and on that astroturf, this ball just takes off. He ends up on second with a bunt double. He's an all-star Lansing, but he's not. A two-run homer off the wall. Oh, Vladimir starting to swing the bat. Six of the year, it's 4-2 Spose. Bottom of the seventh. It gets weird, it gets wacky, it gets wild. Guerrero up with two on. Here's the 1-1. One, one. He goes the other way. This scores, Rezolonic. RBI number three for Guerrero. 5-2 Expos. And then, hey, Keith Lockhart can't handle Tucker's throw. Lockhart, oh my. Guerrero's at second. Tucker throws Guerrero out at third as the laser scores. Oh, so that's done. Guerrero did it with a glove, too. Tucker, deep to right. Watch Vladdy. Is that Vladdy Divac or Vladimir Guerrero? Vladimir. Jeff Juden. Vladdy, thanks. Juden, 11 Ks in the day. Facing Lockhart in the top of the ninth. Mondale White's in center. Okay. And the Expos win 6-2 thanks to this play by Rondell White. Juden, number 11, complete game. Six straight win for him as the Expos avoid what would have been their first ever four-game sweep by Atlanta. Juden out to Sheffield and right. Gary Sheffield. One down. Next, Nin gets Lopez to ground to Conine. Everett. Out by Everett a third. A closer look shows. One was Everett safe? Animation. But they got Everett home. Corner. He got in there. Oh. Got the ball to CJ. Okay. Now two down. Butchowski. Opt him up. They struggled in right field all day long. Watch the steals. Try to stand the ball. We go to the 12. CJ. He's going to the All-Star game. More on that in a little bit. Down the right field line. By Erga. They struggle down the right field line all day. Ochoa's not gonna get. Oh, my God. My Erga did. Now bottom 12. Ochoa's leading off. It's a routine fly to right. Sheffield. They struggle in right field all day. Gary's right there. 
Oh, he's not gonna get it! He drops it. Jim Leland baffled and befuddled. Let's switch it. They're hitting right here. Carl Everett coming up next with Ochoa on second. Everett. A chance to be the hero. They struggle in right field. Oh, they was on the ground. Sheffield, no throw, and the Mets win it. Rated 2 and 12. Juan Acevedo getting the win as he gets three outs for the Mets' third straight win. They have silenced those who said the Tigers series killed this season. How about John Nunnally? How about going back to the wall? The key here? No, he catches it at the key. Next batter, Sandy Alomar to third. Scotty Cooper. We're at 30. Bottom three, no score, they're loaded, and this time, Manny Ramirez. Two words. Yard work. Four nothing truck. Six career slam for Manny Ramirez. And for a guy who says he can't hit in the number four slot, he's a liar. Wild top of the fourth. Four three trap, the bases are loaded. Cooper to left off Oral. And one, two, three come in. Royals, six straight hit, it's six, four. Be part of a seven run inning. Bottom eight though, seven up, Omar Vizquel. Well, this is a money bag. When it counts, those are the stolen bases that count. And then Grissom. It's been kind of a quiet year since he showed up. And Marky Grissom comes through. Good sign for them. Twice in the series, game winning RBI. Sunday and on sore left ribs. As you look out right here, oh, down to the ground he goes, and he gets the outs. Bottom four, tied at four, one down, first and second, Wakefield. Right. Both runners advance. Double play, that's no longer in order. Second and third, Ray Dern. Double play ball, but there's no double play to be had. And the White Sox are up 5-4. Next batter, there's two down. Wakefield, Mike Cameron. You try to catch it. Shouldn't be the third out. Guillen scores. White Sox are up 6-4. Top of the seventh. Mike Stanley. Chuck McElroy. Look out. Below. And the White Sox win 6-5. They've won 11 of 16. And all things considering, not a bad first half when you... Remember, they're only three and a half back. Stroking to left. Marty Cordova going back. Oh, it was a knuckleball. Cirillo rounds third, he would score easily. 3-1 Brewers, they bat around in a 5-1 third and they win 6-2. How about Ben McDonald? First game has gone for the Rockies lately. Shoestring! And it was time for the bat, bottom five. JT Snow, two words. Other way! 13th home run, Giants are up 6-0. Mark Gardner, John Estes, they're all tremendous. Nine strikeouts in six against Colorado. The big Cat had to leave the game with back spasms. He's day to day. He's supposed to be in a home run derby. We'll see about that. But here's the stat of the year on the Rockies. They are one and 31 in games they score three runs or less. Knuckleball up. Well, he's tough with the knuckler. He throws a knuckleball and he actually throws a curveball. So you can't really sit on a certain pitch with him. A shot. Oh, how about diving? Todd Zeal, bottom eight, L.A. up, Candy Adi out of the game, two on, first and third, Scott Radinsky, musician, pitcher, Finley, game over, Padre rally is history, Dodgers win it by a final of the four, five to two, so the Padres limp into the all-star break, win goes one for Siggy in, Todd Stottlemyre, ding dong, the pitch is dead, three run shot, seventh home run of the year, three one Pirates, bottom two, Pirate D, Dale Swain. Rolls, Royce Clayton. Oh, picks it clean. In a fourth, more trouble for the card. Stottlemyre gets away. Steve Cook can't handle it. Swain comes home. 4 1 Pirates. They go on to win it 6 to 3. Steve Cook, seven hits and seven, says we're having fun playing the game like it's. Mark Grace, 99 career homers. He's got 100. Ninth on the year, 2 0 Cubs. Check out the Philly fans. Mark Grace has won a hunt by and large. Riveted. Top four, three nothing Cubs. Frank Castillo doing himself a favor. Singles to center. Rhino scores. His second hit of the game. Four nothing Cubs. Hey, Cubs go into the break having won eight of ten. Phil's he walked Joey Cora to lead off the game, but boy, was he on it after that, facing Alex Rodriguez, looking at a fastball was A-Rod. Next batter, Ken Griffey Jr. swinging on that inside heat, and then your next batter, Edgar Martinez, swinging. Finley striking out the side. Top of the third we go. Chuck still got it, facing A-Rod again. That's a split finger. 
A-Rod struck out three times. Finley had 13 Ks. Bottom four, Angels up 3 nothing. Craig Grayback, the bunt. Jeff Facero, uh-oh. On this play, he twists his right ankle, tracking down the ball. Facero had to leave the game. He had a mild ankle sprain. A after Jose S. Manzanilla walks in a run, Angels led 4 nothing. Base is still full for Dave Hollins. He's done that before, but just once before in his career. That's his second career Grand Slam, 11th home run of the year, to put the Angels up to stay 8-0. You know, you can't blame this one on the Seattle bullpen. Rodriguez, Griffey, Martinez, and Buhner. Retirement earlier in the day. Top three, Texas up 3-1, two on for Jose Canseco. A's now lead 4-3, and Julio Santana is not pleased with that offering. Bottom of the eighth, A's up 9-6. Rusty Greer. Rusty Greer having a great season. Two-run homer. Off Aaron Small, 13th on the year. It's now 9-8. Say, uh, stayed that way. Top of the ninth. Canseco against Billy Taylor. Will Clark drifting, 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 drifting. Ah. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs. Lee Stevens facing Taylor. Ground ball. Tony Bautista. The throw, and Stevens is called out by Chuck Merriweather. Ed Napoleon argues. And Will Clark, let us paraphrase what Will is saying. Boy, I'm not happy with that call. 9-8 the final.